Hey everyone, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be for my fellow Polaris Ranger owners out there. Um, these things come stock with some really nice springs in them, and they're really you know soft and cushy and really nice for trail riding. But when it comes to actually getting work done, I find them a little bit lacking. You really can't get as much in the bed as I would like. Um, but they do come with fully adjustable shocks. So you can actually take a little bit of that extra cushion out of the springs and adjust them so that they're more suited for carrying heavier, lo heavier loads in the bed. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today is how to adjust it from a really cushy soft ride to a little bit more firmer ride. But that's also going to give you a little bit more carrying capacity for dirt, gravel, firewood, whatever you want to carry around. So to do this job, you really need two tools. And one of them actually comes with the Polaris Ranger. So you get this little carrying case here, and it comes with this little uh, tool. And this is, I think, the only thing you can really use to actually adjust the spring setting. So you make sure you don't lose this tool when you get your Polaris. And the other thing is going to be a jack. Uh, in order to take the tension off of the springs, you have to jack it up off the ground, get the tires lifted so that you can actually turn the spring. And I'll show you how to do that here in a second. All right, so before we get started, I wanted to measure exactly how much ground clearance there is on the third setting, and then we'll measure how much ground clearance there is on the fourth setting after we're done. All right, so as that stands right now, it looks like it's about 10 and a quarter of an inch. So we'll see what it is when we're done. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get the tension off of these tires. So I got the jack all set up. It was actually pretty simple to get the jack set up. All right, so the problem here is, is that even though this jack is taking a lot of the pressure off, it's not enough. It doesn't have enough lift height to get the back wheels up actually off the ground. So what I need to do is put a block underneath this and then readjust the jack underneath a lower point so I can jack it up a little higher. So I'm gonna take this piece of wood here and then we'll release the pressure on the jack and we'll put the jack underneath a different spot on the frame. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so this is the back left spring, and if you look, there's four pre-adjustable spring settings on these stock springs that come with your Polaris Ranger. Right here, there's like four different notches. So one, two, three, four. I have it set on the third setting right now because I wanted to try to keep a little bit of cushion in my ride, um, but I'm finding out more and more that I'm really using this thing mostly to haul firewood, and I want to get the most bang for my buck when I go in and out of the woods as I can. So I'm gonna to try to adjust this one more to the fourth spring setting, take all the cush out of the ride or as much as I can and haul more out at one time. All right, so what you do is you take this tool, it has a little notch here on the edge and you wanna put that into one of these, there's five or six little cutouts here that this actually fits into and that's what gives you your leverage. Fit that in there and then just push on it. All right, let's see how much extra ground clearance that gave us. All right, so now we are at about 11 inches and an eighth. So we almost gained a full inch of ground clearance. I'm not sure how much extra bed capacity we got, but we'll find out shortly here because we're going to be doing some firewood this weekend. So 
Here's a quick look at the jack that I used to do this project. It is a Torin Big Red Jacks portable hydraulic equipment. Uh, it's rated for four ton. It did a good job on this project. The only thing I wish, I wish it was a little bit smaller to get underneath the suspension. And then I wish it had more travel to actually lift it up off the tires. Because with this Polaris Ranger and most UTVs, they have you know crazy suspension travel in them for out riding in the woods. Like I think this is 10 or 11, maybe even 12 inches of suspension travel. Um, so in order to actually get the wheels up off the ground, the jack needs to be able to jack at least 12 inches, which this, like I said, I think it's only about six inches of travel on the jack. So I had to reposition with the firewood block underneath it. And that's kind of a pain, but at the same time it did work. So this will get the job done. It's not the most ideal tool, but it'll work. Well, I wish I remember what the ground clearance was when it was on the first setting, you know, when it's on that plushiest ride, but I don't. But I can tell you that the difference between the third setting and the fourth setting is about an inch worth of ground clearance from 10 and a quarter to 11 and an eighth inches of ground clearance. But anyway, with that one, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Thanks.